Nothing is worse than being uncertain about your look. When you're uncertain about your look and the color that you're wearing, it definitely overflows into your level of confidence. This episode will cover colors, color theory, and what signal are you transmitting when you're wearing a color such as this. What's going on, everyone? I'm your host, King Prime. I can be found at IamKingPrime.com. Today, we are getting into color theory, the psyche and psychology of color. Every day you're putting something on, I'm a man of many colors. I hope that you are not a boring black, white, gray, brown, blue person. But when you're wearing these colors, it is transmitting something. It is very important that you know what those things are. I'm going to break down each color what it signals to your audience or the people that you're engaging with and how you can incorporate that color at the right time and the right place with the right people. Here at the Modern Kings Podcast, we have one mission that is to help you look good, to help you make money, and to help you to stay fit. Today, this is about your look. This is about color theory. I'm going to break this down into two parts. It's going to be a part one, which is going to be the psychology and psyche of color. Part two is going to be matching these colors together, how to make the perfect color combinations in your wardrobe. And we're going to start out with a lot of the safe, basic colors that you all like. Let's start with blue. Blue brings about trust, loyalty, wisdom, confidence, and intelligence. It's often associated with calmness and serenity, and it is highly effective in a lot of business settings and casual settings as well. An example of how you would use this is that navy blue business suit. If you don't have a lot of suits, a navy blue suit should definitely be in your wardrobe. And also light blue shirts. They are good for nice, relaxed, but yet professional environments as well. Next up, we have black. That is a lot of your favorite. Black exudes power, elegance, sophistication, and formality. It is not a surprise that they call the event a black tie event. It is highly formal. Black brings about that level of sophistication, especially when done right. Black is timeless, it's authoritative. It is highly suitable for formal events and any other occasion where strong presence or impression is needed. So an example of this would be a wedding, it would be a formal event. Sometimes if you're dressing down, if you throw on a black t-shirt, that could be very, very nice in a dress down manner. It can be sleek, but yet a good looking casual look. Next up, white. Now white is gonna bring that purity, that cleanness, that simplicity and precision. I like to look at white as like a canvas. It is the canvas that you build everything upon. What makes it so fresh and clean is that you can build anything upon white. Any color that you see behind me, any color that you have in your closet, put something white with it, it is guaranteed to match. And a white t-shirt and a casual look could be a great look as well. Hey, if you're still watching this right now, let me know what your favorite color is. Let me know if you have an issue getting away from the boring safe colors and getting into the vibrant colors that I'm about to get into. Next up, now this is getting to my favorite part, red. Red is energy, passion, power, excitement. You actually think about this when you're thinking even romantic. Red is a very bold color. It's an attractive color. It's known to increase heart rates, no lie. And it certainly attracts attention. Now on the business side, how would you use red? A red tie for sure. You could also wear a red shirt as a casual outing and that would be perfect as well. If you're watching the video, this red pair of slacks here, this is one of my favorite pair. Nine times out of 10, when I wear those red slacks, someone is gonna say something. I am not trying to solicit attention. I'm not trying to solicit comment, but it just organically happens. You may be asking, what do I pair these red slacks with? I'm glad you asked. This is a lightly checkered yellow and white shirt with these red slacks. And I have this bow tie that brings it all together. Right, so you can see just a little bit of how that flows. Put some earth tone shoes with that and you're set. And I also add these cufflinks, which I consider finishers. That is a sample or teaser of what I will be giving you in part two of this video. Next up, we have green. Green is one of my favorite colors. Heck, all of these are my favorite colors. Green represents growth, harmony, freshness, stability, and is often associated with nature. It's associated with finances. And green overall can have a very calming and harmonizing effect. 
Now you can wear olive green jackets, you can wear green chinos, you can do a green tie. It's so many ways to tie these colors into your wardrobe. But more than anything, green is gonna give you a grounded look. It's earthy, it has a feel of nature, and it works well. Next up, yellow. Yellow is happiness, is positivity, is energy, warmth. It is just a cheerful, attention-grabbing color. You cannot see yellow and not be happy. But you have to be careful with yellow because it can be overwhelming if it is overused. How are you going to incorporate this? A yellow tie, maybe a yellow pocket square, maybe yellow socks. Or maybe if it's a bright sunny day outside, throw on a yellow t-shirt. Now this is going back into that safety category. It's neutral, it's gray, and that color is gray. Gray is the color of balance. It's the color of neutrality. It's the color of sophistication, reliability, but it's also a formal color. It is elegant and it is timeless. Gray can also be used as a base color. If you have anything gray, it will match with any other color in your closet. If you can think of a color that does not match with gray, challenge me in the comments. So how can you incorporate gray? My best use for gray is a gray suit or maybe gray slacks and build off of that. And now we have purple. That is royalty, luxury, wisdom, and creativity. Purple is one of those colors that makes a sophisticated statement. It carries a touch of luxury. Anytime you think of royalty, kings, queens, purple has often been a part of that color association. You may start to see a pattern here that I'm recommending these colors as accent colors. So for purple, you want to incorporate it as a tie or as a shirt or some other accent, maybe a bracelet, maybe socks. But even though you're using it as an accessory color, it is still going to help you stand out. Next up, orange. Orange represents enthusiasm, creativity, energy, and attraction. It is simply a vibrant and energetic color that can attract major attention and convey enthusiasm. Now, in what manner would I wear orange? I would wear it as a tie. I would wear it as a jacket. I would wear orange shoes. It's all in how tasteful you can make it. A lot of this is creativity and how tasteful and creative you can be. Now, we have pink. Pink is compassion, is love, is nurturing, is calmness. As a man, when you wear pink, like a soft pink, that relaxes people, especially the women. You may shy away from pink, but I will tell you that pink has become highly acceptable and embraced in men's fashion as a versatile color. You can wear it to support the cause. If you're into supporting breast cancer awareness, you can wear it strictly to have a softer look to yourself and not be as hardened. It can show a little fun, show a little relaxation, show that you're not so serious and pink can be done very well professionally. You need that pink to soften that outfit. Now here's the last one. I saved it for last because it's my least favorite and that is brown. Why is it my least favorite? Because my skin color is brown and brown on brown, I become like a muted turd. And that's not tasteful, nor does it smell good. But brown can be amazing as an accent color. Brown represents reliability, comfort, warmth, and stability. Kind of goes back into that earthy theme that we were just talking about with green. Brown gives you a sense of being down to earth. It's relatable and it's a sense of comfort and reliability. This is how you would incorporate brown. Brown shoes, brown belt, maybe a brown bracelet, definitely jackets. It is key to giving you a rugged outdoorsy vibe or a down to earth look, period. But do not buy a brown suit and put it on your brown skin. Now here's something that I encounter quite a bit. We are all various colors and various shades and various races. And I hear certain people of certain skin colors saying, I can't pull that off. I can't do it. You've never tried and yes, you can. Just because you are fair skinned or lighter skinned or much darker in skin color, you can do it. Give it a try. Here's what I want you to do. Experiment with color coordination and share your outfits on social media, like tag me on social media or DM me so that I can see what it is that you're putting together. If you need help trying to put together color coordination and things in your closet, I'm here. Use me as a resource. 
I want you to look good. I want you to exude the right energy, attract the right people, and be successful in what you're aiming to do. Be on the lookout for part two of this video where I'm going to show you exactly how to match colors, the color families and categories. Lastly, do me a favor. Hit the like button. That is my currency. I appreciate you. If you're listening to this on your favorite podcast platform, I would appreciate a review, a five star. That would mean the world to me. And before I go, let me leave you with a quote. Colors are the essence of life. They make it beautiful and meaningful. That is from an unknown author. Follow me on YouTube at King Prime. That is the at symbol King Prime. Follow me on Instagram at I am dot King Prime. I will see you in the next video. Look your best, do your best, and be your best.